All right, uh, howdy folks. Tonight we're gonna do a little arts and crafts, uh, courtesy of Arbor Arms. So what I have here is their uh, fold up dump pouch and then their uh, mag insert. And uh, we'll also look at their Mars uh, pistol pouch in just a little bit. So uh, the fold up dump pouch has this uh, pass through in the back that will uh, work together with uh, the insert here. Luckily, uh, Arbor Arms, I don't know if it was just me, hopefully it wasn't just a me thing, uh, but I bought them both at the same time and they shipped installed, which was awesome. Uh, but I took it apart to show you guys and it's not super like unintuitive to put together. So we'll knock that out real quick just so you guys can see how that works out. So uh, fold up dump pouch, I don't know, nothing crazy about it. Um, it's just a dump pouch, right? Mesh bottom so uh, water can pass through. Uh, it's got a uh, fairly generous top on it. Uh, no uh, bungee around the outside. Uh, so, I don't know, take it or leave it. I'm used to bungees, but uh, it doesn't really affect the functionality of what I was going for here. So, not too concerned about it. And then uh, it's got laser cut uh, tuck tabs on the back, right? Uh, the spacing looks a little a little wide. It's a three three column wide spacing, um, which it's not super ideal if it was just a dump pouch, but uh, you kind of need it to work with this thing. So uh, the way this works is actually very, very straightforward. The pass-through has a center one-inch loop. Uh, the back side or the body side is slick, uh, which makes this very intuitive. So you take your hook on your uh, insert here, and you just insert this into the pass-through. And I would recommend sinking it as far as you can uh, to get that Velcro to still engage. So we can go a little bit further here. All right, and we engage the front. Uh, so that hooks up our hook and loop there on the front half or the away from your body portion. And then you take this tuck tab and you run it uh, over here. And there is a webbing loop inside there. You just run this over the back of the dump pouch and into the webbing loop. And we have now engaged that tuck tab. Uh, hopefully I stayed on camera the whole time. I'm not gonna go back and check because uh, you guys know I just do this live. Uh, and then it'll accept an M4 mag in there. And it's got a bungee retainer on it. All right, so now we've got a M4 mag stacked on our dump pouch. And uh, just in case Blake watches this video, I sized up from the Nalgene bottle pouch, the stowable Nalgene bottle pouch, which will not accept the mag insert to the stowable dump pouch. And now we have a Nalgene sized-ish pouch, right? It'll accept the Nalgene, let it sink all the way down in there, still secure. And because we stepped up in size to the dump pouch, we still have room for the magazine. Uh, which it would be super dope if Arbor Arms kind of marketed it this way as well uh, because you've got the stowable Nalgene pouch which without the intrusion of the mag will fit the Nalgene uh, very well and then you've got the dump pouch that with the added tension that the mag provides it still fits the Nalgene very well so this just seems like a more natural combo to me um, and they could almost just get rid of the Nalgene pouch but there you go now it's a Molly mountable uh, magazine pouch Nalgene pouch combo uh, so for my uses, it is not a dump pouch, all right? Don't, uh, don't make fun of me, Blake. And uh, we've got water and extra ammo for the range, which is pretty neat, all right? Moving on to the, uh, excuse me, the Mars pouch here. Uh, it's not a huge, huge, huge breakthrough uh, for magazine pouches, right? Like pistol magazine pouches are all over the place. But what's neat here is uh, Mars, it has a, rare earth magnet in the back that if I had any uh, bullets in my Glock mag here, it would help retain that, all right? Uh, and you can kind of see up here, I don't know if it's gonna show up well. I can feel it. Uh, it's definitely catching on my metal uh, pegboard hook there. Definitely a magnet in there. But the lid height is fully adjustable. So right now uh, it's in its highest setting and you can see we've got enough flap to go all the way down to the bottom there and that's a tall boy glock mag uh, not a 30 rounder but uh, i think 21 27 one of the two 
And then uh, if we had a shorter, like just a stock Glock 19 mag, when we unthread our tuck tab here, uh, we can pay all this out. We can pull this laser cut flap off of here. And then when we re reroute the tuck tab to mount it onto Molly, we can sink this uh, lid down here, uh, which is gonna shorten up our flap much more. So we have a reasonable flap for a compact or subcompact size pistol mag. I think that's really neat, right? Cause in the past uh, you usually had short magazine pouches uh, because we were just kind of running standard length magazines, unless you had like a 10 round 1911 mag or something like that. Uh, and then when we started you know, uh, incorporating extended magazines as our reload, uh, we would get these goofy combinations where we wouldn't have much magazine in the pouch. And then we also wouldn't have enough flap to go over it. And it got a little dicey about whether or not you were going to lose your magazine. Uh, Arbor Arms has solved that problem. So now whether you need short mags or long mags, the same magazine pouch will work. Uh, so these come sized for the specific magazine that you're using. This one is a Glock version. They also have a double stack nine millimeter for like a steel uh, steel magazine. And then they have single stack for the 1911 fanboys. Uh, and they also have these in vertical orientation, which this one is, or uh, slanted orientation. So it's not the most cost effective pistol magazine pouch. Uh, I kind of goofed, I thought it was sold as a double, uh, but that was totally on me. It's, it's blatantly obvious that it's not on their website. Uh, so I want to say these are right around $40, um, which probably goes into having the magnet there. But uh, you could ditch the lid all together, and uh, I have every confidence in the world that even a tall boy Glock magazine with bullets in there is going to stay just fine with the magnet engaged. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, cool stuff from Arbor Arms. Check it out.